Inside this building is advanced life-saving cardiac technology and a team of highly trained, caring cardiologists. Inside this building is unmatched cardiovascular prevention, screening, and intervention. Inside this building is compassion and hope. And this building is right here in Stillwater, the new heart center at Stillwater Medical Center. Advanced care close to home. a five-time winner. Chevy puts safety first and it has the five-star scores to prove it. Seven of Chevy's 2014 models received the highest possible score for safety. That's more than Ford and Toyota combined. But that's not all. The Cruise, Volt, and Sonic were listed on Forbes' list of 10 safest small cars and Consumer Reports call the all-new 2014 Impala the best new sedan. What this means is today's Chevrolet is giving our customer the quality they deserve. For the last 27 years, we at Wilson's have built our tradition on customer satisfaction. We are honored to serve you, our guests, with the best products on the market. Back that by the largest service team in the area, and we think you'll enjoy our way of doing business. Visit us online at WilsonChevyOK.com. Find new roads. Wilson Chevrolet Stillwater. This is a tree that was never chopped down to make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio because a vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. You can help Rotary end polio now. Learn how you can help at rotary.org slash end polio. Rotary, humanity in motion. McDonald's is continuing to be very proactive with its new menu items, including a great new addition to the breakfast menu, the Egg White McMuffin. Make your morning with 100% freshly grilled egg whites, extra lean Canadian bacon, and smooth white cheddar stacked on a toasted English muffin made with 8 grams of whole grain. Great taste for only 250 calories. Or a refreshing anytime drink, the McCafe Blueberry Pomegranate Smoothie, made with a combination of blueberries and raspberries and a splash of pomegranate juice, blended with ice and creamy low-fat yogurt. Only 220 calories. Always making the menu better. McDonald's in Stillwater, Perkins, and Perry. I'm loving it. Welcome to the morning edition. This is a bright and early Monday morning. I haven't been that? able to say that for a while. How about that? I did, in fact, although many, 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 many reminded me about the clock change. I forgot. Did you really? I did. Well, shame My mom you. sent it to me yesterday afternoon. I'm like, what clocks? <laughs> Oops. Acted like I remembered, but I didn't. She knew I was kidding. I had no idea. I forgot. But it was good. I mean, it felt good. Well, you slept in? I right? did. I did. I slept in and that felt awesome. I was up in at church, so. Oh, were you? Yeah. Yeah, I bet a lot of people still forgot. And then they said, oh, missed it. Got here early or whatever, whatever it was. But I like coming in with it actually being light outside. Mm -hmm. It was just a little too weird coming in and being dark, thinking, okay, we're doing the show in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, enjoy it while you can because it'll still get eventually It will, dark. won't it? Is it going to be, so that means it's going to be dark when we leave the office, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. That's correct. That always makes you feel tired. You know, that t this time of year, I think people feel more tired because when it's dark outside, it kind of make, makes you think that you should be tired. What about you? Um, yeah, probably. Anything major going on this weekend? Um, this weekend. We have, we have a football, football game this weekend. You're probably last weekend or this coming weekend? No, what did you do over the weekend? Over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, well, this weekend, the Pioneers won and won decisively. I saw that. Uh, the, the Pioneers pl are playing much better. They almost won the weekend before. They won really, really well against Enid on, on uh, Friday. Um, it was cool. Good. Yeah. Joe okay. Ogle was the PA announcer. Batch was out of town. Oh, Joe, I love Joe Joe, Joe, Joe Ogle. did a great job. Good. Good, good. Well, that's fun. The Oklahoma State Cowboys 
I think, surprised a few people. Boy, they came out like, I don't care what the polls say or what mm -hmm. the point spread supposedly is. We're all over it. That's right. That was pretty fun to watch. It was a fun game. I was with a bunch of friends, and it went. It was great. We had a good time. A really, really good friend of mine named Ryan, he works for the Arlington Convention and Visitors Bureau, or Visit Arlington, actually, and uh, he is from, he went to Texas Tech. Ah. And he's always just, just blah, blah, blah. So before the game, I said, hey, what do you think? So we had a little wager. And at halftime, I doubled the wager. <laughs> <laughs> Asked him if he was okay with that. He was actually at the game. He was sending me pictures. I didn't hear much from him toward the end. Yeah, In fact, I, I haven't heard from him since. Yeah, we have, we have a friend. <laughs> there were a bunch of us who were invited to somebody's house. And uh, uh, the wife didn't come because she was a Texas Tech, Tech grad. And she wanted to sit home and watch the game and not put up with all these OK, OK State people, I guess. And, you know, that might have been probably OK. And uh, her it husband was, came. Man, that was a fun game to watch. She stayed home and didn't talk to her at church, so I don't know how it went. <laughs> oh. Well, we um, we hosted Leadership Oklahoma here. Yes. Thursday night, all day Friday, Saturday. They left about, the last one left, I think, maybe about 12.30, 12.45, something like that, on Saturday. Just had a great experience. Um, we've hosted it uh, all but the, over the last 18 years, all but two years. Mm -hmm. One when somebody else in our region wanted it, and the other year was the year I went through, and so they didn't award it to us that year. But we actually bid on the ability to host it, mm -hmm. and so it's quite an honor to host state leaders, and it just went really well. Of all those years, I think this year was probably the best as far as content, sessions, most everything going mm -hmm. as planned. That, that didn't go as planned. I don't know that anybody noticed that. Probably me. So that's part. <laughs> that's okay. It's fine. They didn't know. It's... We'll just keep going. Well, the four Stillwater res residents that, that are in that group mm -hmm. really represented us well on the show on, on Friday. They thought they did a great job. Didn't they, yeah. Jason? And, you know, that's one of the things. I get something pretty cool out of every class. And I didn't know Jason Kirksey from Oklahoma State University and had a chance to really visit with him and get to mm -hmm. know him better. Great guy. And then we had Jerry Franklin from Bank First and Jim Scott, Parks and Recreation Department, and Gay Washington mm -hmm. with the Stillwater Public Schools. And they all just did just a fantastic job. Absolutely. They represented well, really, really well. Well, let's look at the weather. I like it when it's nice and chilly and crisp in the morning. I know my sister would completely disagree, but this is my favorite time of year. It is currently clear, 52 degrees outside. Wind's coming out of the south, 17 miles per hour. Humidity is 79%. I'm liking that a lot more. Visibil visibility is very, very good. It's going to be partly cloudy today with a high of 69, a low later tonight of 54. Winds picking up substantially, and perhaps those winds is what's going to bring in a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't think my voice is going, which would be fine with everybody. I get that. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. That would be very disastrous for me. I'd rather listen to you than to me, I would guess. I don't know about that, but may I do the interview? Please? Sure. Oh, sure. good. I haven't had, I haven't. Done the interview with Scott in a long, long, long time. Go and for it. This is Jess Barnes and my va one of our favorite, I better just say one of our favorite just, days. Just for the record now, she's bumped me two shows <laughs> in a row because she bumped me on Friday to do Leadership Oklahoma. You know. But go ahead. But you get to do the next three days while I'm out of state. I do. I have, I'm here all week this week. Yes. Oh, yeah, you are. I am. Well, thanks. Thank you. That's cool. in for Jess today. I got a message mm -hmm. on Saturday asking me to cover for him. So I don't oh, know cool. where he is. I don't, don't know what he's doing. But here I am. Yeah, I don't know either, but hopefully he's okay. Uh, but well, I imagine he's fine. I love books, and yes, I'm reading a book that uh, Scott let me borrow right now. I just finished 112263, what is ranked up one of my very, very favorite Stephen King books ever. Kennedy assassination. It's, yeah, it's um, it's not really like most of his books, but it kind of is. But I really enjoyed it. I couldn't put it down. That's why I've been exhausted the past yeah. few weeks. I've not heard of the book. I just knew the date. It's really good. <laughs> it's what happens if you can travel back in time and prevent the assassination. Oh, sure. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. You should read it. It's, okay. it's pretty cool. And uh, reading a, a book right now called Wicked Girls. Well, there you go. Yeah. And, um, go figure. Yeah. Well, I'm not one of them, let me assure you. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to commercial break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk with Scott Freeman with the Stillwater Public Library about the buzz, which he talks about new books that are releasing, which are great Christmas gifts. I purchased many of them. We're going to be back right after we thank our friends from Wilson Chevrolet for bringing us the weather, and then we'll be back. Wilson Chevrolet. 
Stillwater. Teresa inviting you to come see why the Silverado beats the competition. Chevy built the all-new 2014 Silverado to take on all. Better in every way from hood to hitch. Every new Silverado includes scheduled maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles, a three-year 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, and a five-year 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Chevy Silverado, strong for the roads ahead. Find new roads. Wilson Chevrolet Stillwater. Looking for a luxury vehicle? Look no more. Wilson Cadillac is proud to bring you the power, performance, and attention to detail all in a Cadillac. Wilson's means local sales and service you have come to expect and deserve. Team that with the excellence of the Cadillac and you get luxury vehicles backed by local service. Wilson's service team is trained to take care of all your maintenance work right here in Stillwater. Come experience business the Wilson way and the luxury of a Cadillac. Are you wanting to try country living without buying a home? How about leasing one of these places from Hicks Properties? These homes are spacious, they feature big yards, and they are quiet. With over 1,700 square feet per unit, you have room to spread out and let the family have room to grow. And the yards are large enough to let the kids out to enjoy the outdoors. And best of all, you're in the country. For more information, call Hicks Properties at 743-4641. That's 743-4641. Once upon a time, there were three beautiful girls. One graduated advanced pharmacy technician training. One studied microbiology. The other grew up in a pharmacy and has extensive experience with Medicare. And now, they work for me. My name is Charlie. No, actually, you all work for me. Hi, my name is Debbie, and I bought the store from Charlie in 1997. Debbie and the crew at Charlie's Discount Drug fight hard every day to protect your right to great services at discount prices. Providing cholesterol checks, vaccinations, fittings for Docs Pro Plugs, and even an app for your iPhone or Android device to refill to keep track of your medications. You can also refill your medications online at charliesdrug.com. And now Debbie and the crew provide Dispill, a monthly pill planner system. Call 624-3535 for details or come to Charlie's Discount Drug today where Debbie and her angels have been fighting high prices since 1979. Charlie's Discount Drug, 723 South Walnut in Stillwater. Are you a sports fan looking for exclusive information on the Pioneers, the Cowboys? Well, you need to check out TV 3101 each weekday from 1 to 3 on TV 31 and simulcast on Team Radio's Triple Play of Networks. Each week, I'm joined by the names most associated with athletics, such as Tom Dorado on Mondays, Steve Daniels on Tuesdays, Coach Bill Landon on Wednesdays, and Larry Reese on Thursdays. Different personalities each day, but the same commitment to having fun and entertaining sports talk. TV 3101, catch it weekdays 1 to 3 on TV 31 and simulcast on Team Radio. Welcome back to the morning edition. I haven't had the opportunity to interview in a long time. It's been a while. It used to be all me, and then it became all Jess. And so I'm kind of, I was excited this morning. I thought, ooh. I could probably win a, a hand wrestle or arm wrestle with Kevin to get to do the interview today. It was it was pretty bloody there for a minute. I know. Mm -hmm. He almost won, but <laughs> I arm wrestled dirty, so I won. Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited to have you here because it's coming up on Christmas. It is. And for me, Christmas or books, and I'm sure it's the same for you, books mm -hmm. are a great Christmas gift. They are. Particularly mm -hmm. for somebody that is just so hard to get for, or they have everything. Mm -hmm. for, like my dad, and you, you have helped me historically over the years find great books for my dad. I actually thought about your dad as I was putting together the list for this morning. Oh good! Yeah. I'm excited about that. He, yeah. My dad's one of those crazy guys. He's off the charts brilliant and it just sometimes is frustrating but he reads about five yeah. books at a time. Yeah. Well an interesting thing about the publishing market is is really that starting November it slows down quite a bit. November is a little more nonfiction oriented mm -hmm. and December is, is really a dead month. Yeah. Well, and that, that kind of makes sense, I guess. But, but it's really good because I love that you bring on things that um, kind of appeal to a wide range of people, I think. I hope. Yeah. I like the one that I'm reading right now. I didn't realize it took place in England. And I'm about two or three pages in. I'm going, hey, those words are familiar. And I realize, okay, this brings you back some memories. It is, I, I'm not very far into it yet, but I'm traveling this week, so I'll probably get through the whole thing. Good deal. Yeah, that's why I like a book because I never have to turn it off. 
That's true. You know, and so I just keep on reading. I've missed a lot of takeoffs and landing because I'm so into a book. But um, anyway, go ahead and start because we've got quite a few here. Okay. Well, we've got uh, some YA. This is called The Natural. 17-year-old Cassie uh, is a natural. She looks intense. She does. She's a natural at reading people. Oh. She can pick up on tales. Um, and she can piece together the tiniest details. She can tell you who you are, what you want, what you're after. Uh, but she's never really taken this skill seriously until the police come knocking, or actually the mm. FBI, and they're beginning this classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to solve cold cases. Um, I think so I would like that. It's, it's, well, a lot of YA is, has a lot of I adult so. appeal. Well, that's well. true. Is, Hello, you got Twilight and um, Ender's Game and all yep. of those. Those are good books. Ender's Game was number one movie this weekend. So. Do you know, um, that, that book freaked me out. My sister said suggested I read it. I was like, whoa. And now they made it into a movie. I'm really excited to see it. I've, I've, there's a second Ender's Game as well. Uh, there's a series of them. Is there more than yeah, that? Oh, yeah. I need to read all those. This one uh, is called These Broken Stars. Um, it's a night uh, like any other on board the Icarus. Uh, then catastrophe strikes and this massive luxury space liner is yanked out of hyperspace and plummets into the nearest planet. It's, this is a teen book. Have you read it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read the other one? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, probably not going to read that one, but I probably would like to read the other yeah, one. Yeah, this one, this one yeah. looks good to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, right now I'm focusing on, uh, I'm going to release my 20 best books in yes. 2013. Okay, good. Uh, on December 3rd. So I'm focusing on really the, the books that might make the list. Okay, good. Uh, right now. <laughs> that uh, might. Um, this, this is a second in a series called um, The Black Ace, uh, and what se separates this is this is a sports thriller. Oh. Uh, the main character, Brad Shade, is a former baseball player. He's now a, a private eye, um, and this is the second one in that series. If huh. you like that sort of thing, okay. or if you know a sports fan who just can't let it go. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, a baseball guy turned P.I. Yes. Okay. And this one looks very interesting to me, and this is one I probably will pick up and read because, you know, there's a blurb by Harlan Coben, who's one of my favorite authors. Uh, I've got to tell you, the front of a book oftentimes makes it or breaks it for me, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but that does look good already. Not, well, I mean, I, I think you're right on. There's, mm -hmm. there's a ton of people that are that way, and yeah. that's why they invest so much in cover art. Exactly. Um, London is under attack. A number of its civilians are dead. Um, people are panicking. People are texting, you know, trying to escape all, all the carnage and everything. Um, and the question is, will any of them survive the night and figure out what's going on? Wow. Yeah. Um, and that's in London? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll go quickly through the rest so we can get to okay. the other. Um, this is a Sigh and Change. This actually comes out in December. It's a YA book. But it's getting a lot of buzz. And I, I won't be here in December before the buzz, but it'll be right. after. So I just thought I would go ahead and bring no this. Cy Williams is 13. It's the 1890s in Georgia. He's supposedly free, mm. but just because he's free doesn't mean he is. He works on a plantation. He's still whipped, abused. Um, oh, wow. People are killed. And this is Cy's hope for escape from that kind of racial burden. Jeez. That'd be um, a deep book. Yeah. I did read this one. Okay. Russell Banks, a uh, permanent member of the family. This is a collection of short stories from the author of uh, The Sweet Hereafter, which made a really cool movie exactly, uh, yes. about a decade ago. Uh, depressing, uh, compelling, uh, really great. If you like short stories, um, then this is, this is a great read. Okay. Uh, the 13th Tale was a huge hit for Diana, Diane Setterfield. This is her follow-up called Bellman in Black. There's a lot of buzz about this one. I like the cover. Um, as a boy, William Bellman kills a bird with a slingshot. He forgets about it until years later when a stranger appears in his life. Um, and desperate to save the one precious thing that he has left, he enters into a bargain with this strange man. Um, Ooh, yeah. I just got goosebumps. Very, uh, supposed to be very macabre. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that does sound good. 
And then finally, as far as my advanced copies go, Jocelyn Jackson has a new one You read one that one. My wife did. Oh, I can say somebody she, read it. Every time I get a Jocelyn Jackson sure. uh, advanced copy, my wife reads it because she's great. Uh, Gods in Alabama was, was hilarious. Did you read that one? No. My, I think it was Jess told me to read it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all of her stuff is, is Southern, a lot of humor. Um, pregnant woman is in line at the gas station and armed robbery occurs. Uh, a good-hearted man jumps between her and the the armed robber, and she ends up falling in love with that dude. Uh, ends up realizing that maybe he's got a little bit more baggage than <laughs> she initially bargained for. So that sounds great. Yeah. All right, so we go to commercial. We'll come back and talk about these. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna go to commercial break. Come back, talk more. Scott Freeman, I'm so nosy. I have to already see what you're doing. Nonfiction. Here. Oh, okay, perfect. We're gonna come back talk about nonfiction books right after this. Chevrolet has served me well. My first truck was a 78 Chevy and I still drive it. 20 years later, I'm president of B&L Heating and Air. I drive a 2012 Chevy pickup, maintain a fleet of 15 Chevrolet pickups. Wilson's makes this part of running my business easy. Whether I need to purchase a new truck or have service work done, they have always been there to take care of my needs. The Chevy Silverado is the workhorse for many of you. Chevy tradition has built dependable, reliable trucks and continues to raise the bar with the 2014 Chevy Silverado. The new Silverado is stronger, smarter, and more capable than ever. A redesigned interior that gives you all-day comfort and MyLink features keep you and your crew connected to the world. I invite you to come test drive the all-new Chevy Silverado or any of Chevy's new vehicles. Right now, we are proud to deliver to you Chevy's most fuel-efficient lineup ever. Chevy, find new roads. Murphy's is proud to introduce this new trendy gadget from our Australian friend Alex of Dream Farm. The Garject does more than just mince garlic. Press garlic, scrape, eject in just 18 seconds. Press unpeeled garlic, scrape clean, then eject the peel. No more garlicky fingers as you dig the peel out of your garlic press when the job is done. Now a very clever, innovative tool, the Garject. Dream Farm, exclusively at Murphy's for all life's events in beautiful, historic downtown Stillwater. Welcome back to the morning edition. Right before we go on air, we always say stuff like that. Absolutely. <laughs> Keeps us on our toes. I know. Scott Freeman joins us from the Stillwater Public Library talking about the buzz. Yes. I love that. The buzz about new books coming out. Mm -hmm. And now we, we talked about some fiction, and now you're going to talk about some nonfiction. There is some really, really cool nonfiction coming out this month. The first one, um, and this is Amazon's pick for the best book in November, is Monsters. The 1985 Chicago Bears and the Wild Heart of Football. Uh, if you follow football, you know the that, Bears. Yes, one of the best teams of all time, and this this goes behind the scenes. Um, you know, great. That's really cool. Yeah, you know Walter Payton, one of the exactly. greatest running backs of all time. The punk quarterback who Ditka couldn't stand, Jim McMahon. Um, <laughs> the, the the revolutionary defense. A really great behind the scenes look at. That sounds cool. Uh, yeah. So there, there are a lot of buzz about this one. Uh, one that I'm really interested in um, is titled Furious Cool, Richard Pryor in the World That Made Him. Really? Uh, by David and Joe Henry. Uh, and this goes back into his childhood in Peoria, Illinois. Um, he was born, his mother was a prostitute. His grandmother ran the whorehouse in which he was born. Oops, I had no bottle. idea. Yeah. Uh, so this really hones in on really the, the very dire circumstances in which wow. he came and how he turned into be one of the most revolutionary comics in, in history. That would probably just probably explain part of his humor. Yes. Now that I think about it. Very hard edge. Yes, you know. extremely. Um, another one come out, Hatching Twitter. Um, a true story of money, power, friendship, and betrayal. Um, the... You know, there's there's a lot that's widely known about the the group before Twitter called Odeo, uh, which was a struggling podcasting startup that ended up collapsing, and a few of the survivors of that startup had a little side business going on. 
huh. which by 2013 is now an $11.5 billion business. Mm. And this is the, the first really in-depth behind the scenes look at how that um, business started. Uh, drama, betrayed friendships, high stakes power struggles. Yeah, not quite as seamless wow. as it seems on our end. Um, Doris Kearns Goodwin has a new one out. Um, the Bully Pulpit, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, and the Golden Age of Journalism. My dad would love that. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, this Is was that one the one I thought, thought about. about? Yeah. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt and William Howard Taft were great friends uh, until the 1912 um, uh, election campaign where they ran against each other. Wow. Which fractured that, as you can I imagine. I can see where that could happen. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, the muckraking press begins to come into its own. Um, and so Dor Doris Kearns Goodwin is as good as it gets as far right. as a living historian goes. So cool. this should be a, a great read. And one that inter interests me is a prayer journal by Flannery O'Connor, who... Um, Great 20th century writer. Right. Uh, and this is a, a collection of her daily devotionals written between 1946 and 47. And the, the buzz on this is whether you're religious or not, being able to read the, the background into her mind is really worth it. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And the final one I got, Pulp Fiction, the complete story of Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece. No way. Yeah. That's one of the best movies of all time. Isn't it, though? <laughs> it's so good. And now... He is so bizarre in his head. I don't even know where he comes from, but his movies are so good to me. Yeah. Will you look at a Mac, uh, Big Mac the same after? <laughs> no. Oh. No, I will not. <laughs> so there's some great stuff coming out this week. Thank you so much. My it's my always pleasure. inspiring. I love, I love it. I, uh, the only thing bad about me doing the interview is typically the whole time you're talking, I'm putting books into my phone so I don't forget what they are. So I'll have to get some of those before we cruise out of here. I can give you this list. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here as oh, always. My pleasure. We, have some, we do have some changes going on in December, but we will get you on later in the month just so we can maybe go Let's, through your top 20 Yeah, we'll talk about the best books. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, don't go away. We're going to come back, look at the extended forecast. I have a feeling there's some rain in the future. We'll find out more right after this. McDonald's is continuing to be very proactive with its new menu items, including a great new addition to the breakfast menu, the Egg White McMuffin. Make your morning with 100% freshly grilled egg whites, extra lean Canadian bacon, and smooth white cheddar stacked on a toasted English muffin made with 8 grams of whole grain. Great taste for only 250 calories. Or a refreshing anytime drink, the McCafe Blueberry Pomegranate Smoothie made with a combination of blueberries and raspberries and a splash of pomegranate juice blended with ice and creamy low-fat yogurt. Only 220 calories. Always making the menu better. McDonald's in Stillwater, Perkins, and Perry. I'm loving it. Driving two hours is no longer part of your stress test. Welcome to the new Heart Center at Stillwater Medical Center. With state-of-the-art cardiac technology and a team of highly trained, caring cardiologists. The technology to treat and the compassion to heal. The Heart Center at Stillwater Medical Center. Advanced care close to home. Let me tell you some of the reasons people get into trouble with credit cards. A job loss or salary cut, an unexpected expense. Consolidated Credit helped over 5 million people just like you. We can reduce your interest rates, cut your monthly payments, and help you get out of debt fast. The time to call Consolidated Credit is now. When debt is the problem, we are the solution. Call Consolidated Credit now. Call 1-800-435-7915. Call now. In 1985, while polio was paralyzing 1,000 children a day, Rotary International committed to a goal, a goal of ending polio worldwide. Very soon now, after immunizing over 2 billion children, the goal will be achieved. Eradicating polio worldwide, that is humanity in motion. That is Rotary. I love the feel of old pickup trucks and old cowboy boots. They're just comfortable. At 
Tiger Drug, we've been honored to serve you for nearly 100 years. We appreciate your business and hope that it's been comfortable for you to do business with us. As the fourth oldest business in Stillwater, we're committed to work as hard as ever to keep your trust and friendship. 